Hey guys, it's Bill Maher and welcome to the garage. Today is July the 22nd, which means we are eight days out from By Way of Motorcycle 7, Pirates of the Arctic Circle. Just wanted to give you a little bit of an update. Um, and the second part of this video will be part two of what I'm gonna be packing. It'll be my safety gear and some of my camping equipment. But I wanted to give you an update in the meanwhile and show you where we're at. As you can see here, we have the front tire on the bike, but the back tire is MIA. It's up on jack stand. And the reason for that is I bought these Mifo Explorers. Now these were suggested to me by a guy that runs a tour company in Alaska and he suggested these as getting the most mileage for your buck. Obviously a 9,000 mile motorcycle trip, I really don't want to have to change tires in the middle of it. And he said that these things can get about 9,000 miles. The problem with them is they are expensive. They're about $155 and they cost about 15 bucks to ship. So about $170 to the house. As I was mounting this thing, I was not using any kind of crazy machine. I wasn't using any bad techniques. I was just using my standard hand tools. And it just so happens that we can see here that it's split right there at the bead. And you can see here, this is actually a cord from the bead that has popped out. It exposed the cord and it tore. And so basically that tire is completely ruined. There's nothing I can do about it. I call Twisted Throttle and explain the situation. They think it's a defective tire. I think it's a defective tire. So they're gonna send me another one and then I'm gonna get a refund for this one. So we're, uh, we're still, um, <laughs> still gonna take it right up to the limit. So for now, we're gonna take you inside and I'm gonna show you my camping and safety gear. So I'll, uh, let's go. And here is part two of what to pack for a motorcycle trip. So as you can see here, we've got electronics and camping gear. So let's get started. On this side, we have our electronics. Probably the most important piece of electronics you'll take is your cell phone. This is an iPhone, so it can be used for many different things. Uh, smartphones these days are kind of a multi-tool of electronics. I can use this as an iPhone. It will be used as my iPod for music and um, I could also use it to look up directions and GPS coverage and stuff like that too. So um, very important that you bring a cell phone if you're going to do any kind of crazy motorcycle adventure. So bring it. Now I'll be bringing my laptop. This is an HB, I don't remember what model number it is, it's just a cheap laptop. There are many reasons to bring a laptop and there are many reasons not to bring a laptop. The reasons not to is they're rather fragile and they take up a lot of room. The reasons for, if you get a Wi-Fi hotspot, you can get on the internet, you can check your email, you can download maps, you can um, make hotel reservations. My big thing for bringing a laptop is I archive my footage because I'm afraid of losing an SD card or getting the the memory corrupt or just running out of memory so I always use this as a backup to, to back up all my footage at the end of the day. In addition to that I always bring a small um, external hard drive so basically I've got a backup to the computer and a backup to the hard drive. It only takes a few minutes and you can be, be doing something else you know watching TV or something while you're just chilling in your hotel and you just back the stuff up and then you've got uh, redundancy there so that's why I bring a laptop. I originally did this video a few days ago where I was going to show all my camera gear and then I realized that for the average person, 99% of the people that will be watching this video are not going to do this big giant video production. So showing all the tons of camera gear that I'm taking for my YouTube channel is kind of unnecessary. But you definitely want to take a camera. And I suggest a nice point and shoot. This guy is a Canon SD870, shoots about 12 megapixels and will actually shoot HD video. And you can pick one of these up for 200 bucks. So you definitely want to take a camera to, to document your ride. Uh, I recommend bringing a GoPro. It doesn't have to be the HD model. You can pick up a, a standard def model, pretty cheap on eBay, especially if you buy one used. But it gives you a different perspective. You can mount this thing on the side of your bike. So I recommend to the novice and beginner video Photographer, you want to bring a GoPro for these bike rides. I suggest bringing a tripod. I'll be bringing a pretty fancy nice tripod, but this is just a, a cheap $17 uh, Walmart tripod and this will totally get the job done. 
And that's really all you need to, to document a, a basic motorcycle ride without making this giant ridiculous production like I do is just a kind of a setup like this. So recommend these camera setups. This is a Pelican case I picked up on Amazon. I think it cost me about 15 bucks or so. I cannot remember the actual model number, but just Google Pelican SD card holder and this is what will come up. And this thing is, well, it's hard to open with one hand, but it holds all your SD cards and so you can actually keep them all in one place and they're really, really secure and it's waterproof. So I highly recommend this if you've got a few SD cards you have to carry um, Pelican. Now this is a juice bar pocket solar charger. This guy is just a little solar charger. It's got all these different adapters on the back and um, you can plug them into the Nintendo DS, and different kinds of cell phones. Now I'm actually gonna be running a USB type plug on my bike so while we're in motion, I can, I can uh, charge my phone. But this guy will be really handy when say we're sitting at a campsite and the bike's not running. I obviously don't want to run off a battery you know, while we're there, so this will be kind of handy just to put this guy out and uh, charge up my phone and stuff. Now that's pretty much it for electronics. Um, Tracy will be carrying a spot tracker, which is a, a GPS tracking device that has a safety feature on it, but he'll probably do a video about that. I don't have one because obviously we don't need two of them, but uh, he'll have the spot tracker on his bike. The rest is our camping and slash first aid slash safety gear, and I'll be going over that. Now, mind you, I want to make perfectly clear that this is a motorcycle trip, not a camping trip.